Listen carefully to the instructions of each exercise and take your time. If you cannot do a particular exercise exactly as described, keep trying. Your ability to do the exercise will, I guarantee you, improve. Now remember, a successful program to flatten your stomach requires, first of all, the desire to do it, second, hard work, third, commitment, and fourth, I'm sorry to say, consistency. Never push to the point of injury. Take your time and always warm up prior to this workout or any other. The warm up will increase the blood flow to all muscle groups and uh, decrease the possibility of injury. When you complete your workout, follow the cool down procedures carefully. This will bring you back to your pre-exercise state. Okay, let's begin your warm up. You're on your way to a stronger and flatter stomach. Good luck. Torso twist. Begin in standing position with your legs a shoulder width apart, knees slightly bent, elbows raised, hands clasped in the middle. Begin by twisting slowly right and then left. Gradually increase speed of twisting motion for a count of 20. For those of you who have trouble counting, you'll notice we've added these cute little numbers on my right. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, because trust me, as this workout goes on and you run short of breath, all you have to do is be able to see. 17, 18, 19, 20. Ah, easy. Trunk rotation. Standing with your feet wide apart and your hands on your hips, bend forward at your hips. Keep your lower body stationary. Now go to your right, now to your back, and now to your left. Of course, if any of you are watching this in Australia, do it absolutely in the reverse order. Just kidding. One, two, this is easy, you get to count slower. Three, stretch it out, stretch it out, that's it. You should feel it on all sides of your body as you make the 360 degree rotation. Nine, ten. Jumping rope or running in place. Find a comfortable position and begin running in place or jumping rope. Keep your motion open and breathe deeply for 60 seconds. I'm using a rope because it's the most difficult and uh, the most complete form of warming up. You'll notice you never see anybody jumping rope these days who's over 12 years of age, unless, of course, they're making their living in the boxing ring. But I highly recommend it. Actually, it's uh, one of my secrets that I've kept for many years because you can do it on the set of any film or television show, and it, uh, it's not only intimidating to your co-stars, but it, uh, it keeps the legs strong. Now, those of you who are simply running in place, who don't have a jump rope, or who haven't had the courage to try jumping rope, remember, lift the knees. In order to get the full benefit of running in place, you must lift the knees. That away, almost there. 54, 55, 56, 57, and 60. Now that you're finished with the warm-up, let's begin the workout. Begin the eliminator with your weight on the left leg and your right foot pointed out to the side. At the same time, swing your arms from the left toward the right leg. Count off 10 on each side. That's it, now keep going. This one, believe me, is worth the effort. And now, the other side. One, two, three, four. Of course, to be completely balanced, we should have moved the numbers to the other side. But, ah. Toe touch, reverse up. Assume a starting position with your arms behind you and your left leg back. Put your right leg forward as high as possible. Lower your hands to touch your right foot. 
Count off 10 times on each side. Hold tight and stretch. Nine and 10. And now for the other leg. One. Remember, bring the foot up to the hands. That's it. Foot up to the hands. And 10. Yeah. Oblique side burn. Hands behind your head, legs wider than shoulder width apart. Bend your knee to the left as you press both arms to the left 20 times, alternating. That's it, that's it, work those laterals. The oblique sideburn is not to be confused with what Elvis Presley wore during his heyday. Now, deep breath and relax. High dive. Here's a great basic exercise for the stomach that involves toe touching. Begin with your arms straight out to the sides. Bend your left knee, keeping your right leg straight back. Both hands to your left toe. Repeat 10 times to each side. Remember, an easy, fluid motion. Seven. And remember, consistency is the secret. And 10. Piece of cake. Now the other leg. That's right. Can you feel those hamstrings? Now you may find one side more difficult than the other. That simply tells you that you're weaker on that side and or more stiff on that side. Transverse control. This one is a little tougher, so, so try it slowly. Bend your left leg, bend your right elbow down to touch your left knee. At the same time, swing your left arm up and back. Now, count off 10 on each side. Seven, eight, nine, 10. Now for the other side. Here you're working the transverse muscles that tighten the stomach and really, really flatten. Can you feel it? You feel those muscles working? By the way, if the glare off of my hair is blinding anybody, I apologize. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. Are you still with me? Shake the hand. Sprint or take off. You won't cover much distance here, but believe me, you'll go a long way of flattening your stomach. Get into a runner's starting position. Extend your right leg forward with your left leg back, then alternate legs from the same position. See, easy. Only really, really pump your legs. 12, 13, 14, 15. Keep it together. Maintain the form. Keep the knees coming forward. Push through with the knees. Toe point resist. Take this position on the floor and hold for five counts. One, two, three, four, my wife makes me do this every morning in front of her before I start my day. Nice, even breaths. 
Now swing your body forward. Place your weight on your hands and feet. Hold for five counts. Then return to the starting position. Remember, in all these exercises, breathing is important. Easy fluid motion, slowly. Very good. Take a deep breath and relax. Side lateral kick. Start again with hand on the floor, swing left leg forward and to the back. You kick 10 times with each leg and remember, really stretch it out. Six, seven, eight, and ten. Now the other leg. For those of you who don't have a mat at home or haven't had time to get one, you can do this on your carpet or on, on a hardwood floor and uh, you'll soon go out and buy yourself a mat. Nine, ten. Ah. Challenger one. Sit on the floor with the legs out wide and your hands between your legs. Now raise both legs a few inches off the floor and hold for three counts. One, two, three. Now raise your legs a bit higher this time and hold for another three counts. One, two, three. Excellent. Now this time we'll take the legs a bit higher. Hold it for a count of three. One, two, three. Excellent. Big deep breath. Now we'll start with the legs at the same spot they were. Ready? Legs up. Two, three. Don't forget to breathe on these. These are very difficult. First time I did this, this is as far as I got, so don't feel bad. Okay, here we go. Challenger two. Sitting with your legs wide apart and arms straight out to the side, touch your right hand to the left toe. Now alternate to the opposite side and continue for a count of 10 on each side. Get to breathe. <laughs> Isn't this fun? Ah. Two point shock. On the floor with your hands behind your head, twist to the left and twist your right elbow to your left knee. Then alternate. Have a count of five on each side. Remember, a nice fluid motion. Remember, touch the elbows with the knee. Squeeze play, one of my favorites. Starting with your hands behind your head, pull your right knee in toward your chest. 
and bring your right elbow forward to touch the right knee at the same time. Extend the left leg, being careful to keep it off the ground. Now repeat it 10 times. Like pedaling a bicycle without being on one. Ah, squeeze play two. Continue the same movement as squeeze play one, but this time touching elbows to opposite knees. You repeat 10 times, alternating left and right. Four, five, if nothing else, you'll all know how to count at the end of this video. Seven, eight, nine, 10. Ah, bicycle kick, another basic exercise. Bicycle kick straight up for a count of 20. This will prevent blood from pooling in the legs. The beauty of these exercises, of course, is you can do them in your closet. So nobody needs to see how really out of shape you are. They've been designed that way. All you need is four square feet. 16, 17, you really have to be able to count to do this one. 19, 20. That concludes your workout. Now let's begin the cool down. Groin stretch. We did a lot of this on the A-Team. Television series I did a couple of years ago. The longest yard. One, two, I know this doesn't feel like a cool down exercise, but it is. By the way, you'll notice my socks haven't moved. Ten, and now for the other side. Ready? Roll over. If you can still move, roll over the other side. Everything must be kept in balance, both sides of the body. Actually, we're working both sides of the brain here. The creative side and the technical side. One, two, three, four, five, Six. Eight. Nine. Oh. Remember, this is the cool down period. Form is very important. Remember, a thing of beauty is a joy forever. Six, seven, and eight, nine, Ten. Now the other leg. Remember, both sides of the body. For those of you who have two left feet, you're in trouble. I don't recommend doing this exercise face down. Nah, I'm just kidding.
It's a wonderful exercise to do if you have interesting wallpaper on your ceiling. To the showers. One is good, two is better. Three. Four. We're almost there. Good form. Seven. A moment. We've all been waiting for is almost here. Ah. I'm proud of you. I knew we could do it. Flatten Your Stomach Workout is based upon an effective routine that will progressively provide a trimmer, stronger, and healthier waistline. This program is based upon a vigorous series of stretches and muscle contractions as taught by Barry Kishu at the Private Exercise Center in Los Angeles. Put me back in the little case, put it on the shelf. Tomorrow, I'll see you again. Feel those hamstrings. Now you may find one side more difficult than the other. That simply tells you that you're weaker on that side and or more stiff on that side. Transverse control. This one is a little tougher, so, so try it slowly. Bend your left leg, bend your right elbow down to touch your left knee. At the same time, swing your left arm up and back. Now, count off 10 on each side. Seven, eight, nine, 10. Now for the other side. Here you're working the transverse muscles that tighten the stomach and really, really flatten it. Can you feel it? You feel those muscles working? By the way, if the glare off of my hair is blinding anybody, I apologize. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. Are you still with me? Shake the hand. Sprinter takeoff. You won't cover much distance here, but believe me, you'll go a long way of flattening your stomach. Get into a runner's starting position. Extend your right leg forward with your left leg back, then alternate legs from the same position. See, easy. Only really, really pump your legs. 12, 13, 14, 15. Keep it together. Maintain the form. Keep the knees coming forward. Push through with the knees. Toe point resist. Take this position on the floor and hold for five counts. One, two, three, four, Bye.
My wife makes me do this every morning in front of her before I start my day. Nice, even breaths. Now swing your body forward. Place your weight on your hands and feet. Hold for five counts. Then return to the starting position. The longest yard. Ready? One, two, I know this doesn't feel like a cool down exercise, but it is. By the way, you'll notice my socks haven't moved. Ten, and now for the other side. Ready? Roll over. If you can still move, roll over the other side. Everything must be kept in balance, both sides of the body. Actually, we're working both sides of the brain here. The creative side and the technical side. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, Oh. Remember, this is the cool down period. Form is very important. Remember, a thing of beauty is a joy forever. Six, seven, and eight, nine, ten. Now the other leg, remember, both sides of the body. For those of you who have two left feet, you're in trouble. And stretch. Nine and 10. And now for the other leg. One. Remember, bring the foot up to the hands. That's right. Foot up to the hands. And ten. Yeah. Oblique sideburn. Hands behind your head, legs wider than shoulder width apart. Bend your knee to the left as you press both arms to the left 20 times, alternating. That's it. That's it. Work those laterals. The oblique sideburn is not to be confused with what Elvis Presley wore during his heyday. Now, deep breath and relax. High dive. Here's a great basic exercise for the stomach that involves toe touching. Begin with your arms straight out to the sides. Bend your left knee, keeping your right leg straight back. Both hands to your left toe. 
Repeat 10 times to each side. Remember, an easy, fluid motion. Seven. And remember, consistency is the secret. And 10. Piece of cake. Now the other leg. That's right. Can you feel those hamstrings? Now you may find one side more difficult than the other. That simply tells you that you're weaker on that side and or more stiff on that side. Transverse control. This one is a little tougher, so, so try it slowly. Bend your left leg, bend your right elbow down to touch your left knee. At the same time, swing your left arm up and back. Now, count off 10 on each side. Seven. Eight. One, two, I know this doesn't feel like a cool down exercise, but it is. By the way, you'll notice my socks haven't moved. Ten, and now for the other side. Ready? Roll over. If you can still move, roll over the other side. Everything must be kept in balance, both sides of the body. Actually, we're working both sides of the brain here. The creative side and the technical side. One, two, three, four, five, Six. Eight. Nine. Oh. Remember, this is the cool down period. Form is very important. Remember, a thing of beauty is a joy forever. Six, seven, and eight, nine, Ten. Now the other leg. Remember, both sides of the body. For those of you who have two left feet, you're in trouble. I don't recommend doing this exercise face down. Nah, I'm just kidding. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah. Bicycle kick. Another basic exercise. Bicycle kick straight up for a count of 20. This will prevent blood from pooling in the legs. The beauty of these exercises, of course, is you can do them in your closet. So nobody needs to see how really out of shape you are. They've been designed that way. All you need is four square feet. 
16, 17, you really have to be able to count to do this one. 19, 20. That concludes your workout. Now let's begin the cool down. Groin stretch. We did a lot of this on the A-Team. Television series I did a couple of years ago. The longest yard. One, two, I know this doesn't feel like a cool down exercise, but it is. By the way, you'll notice my socks haven't moved. Ten, and now for the other side. Ready? Roll over. If you can still move, roll over the other side. Everything must be kept in balance, both sides of the body. Actually, we're working both sides of the brain here. The creative side and the technical side. One, two, three, four, five, Six. Eight. Nine. Oh.